Hey guys, this is Mag Synchro of Convertible Turtle Gaming, and it is that time again. We're looking for another Zelda Breakfast of the Wild stream. Just pulling up a few things real quick, make sure we got it all going the way we'd like it to go. Here we go. Audio looks good. Let's get our game loading up. So last we left off, we just got GTA Majoro tamed, registered, started heading west. Not because we were looking for some sort of gold rush, but because that's what one of the quests told us to do is to head toward the Gerudo Desert. So we can get one of the divine beasts tamed and bit to our wheel as it were. And we will see pretty much what we can. Looks like we just might have lost audio. Hopefully we'll get that fixed in just a few seconds. is looking pretty good so all right what we're gonna do now is start heading that way and see what we can get a hold of come out here oh that's right we put the we put the horse away don't know why we did that but we sure did Put us already. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of so we don't wind up wiping out this early in the stream. Come on. We do have some gamer pride. Man. Apparently it doesn't go that far though. Do something about this abysmal weapon choice. finally beat one of the coyotes and that's the one thing about the coyotes guys is the way they operate is as soon as you manage to beat one down the whole entire pass of them is going to run off but I think we had a casualty of war yep we stunned us a hot-footed frog while we were fighting those guys so we're going to pick him up 
add them to our much, much needed stuff. And start heading all the way to the Gerudo Desert. Well, he said that, but come to find out, I was going the wrong direction. Going to do us no good for me to go the wrong direction, guys. So I should be going that way. Slightly confused. Hmm. State of confusion's pretty common for me though in this game so Hey, good news, guys. Looks like Couchbot finally popped up. You know, it might feel good to be out of the rain. It might feel good. You never know, man. At least this time the, the horse has a name, though, right? That was kind of one of my dad's thoughts all the time with that particular song is... As much as he had been with that horse, you figure at some point he could have bothered to name the thing. It was the least he could have done for all the burden he kept with. And uh, Shadow, thanks for joining the stream, man. I appreciate you coming in here every morning like you do. Uh, these are electric chews. And doing so good with this boomerang last time. Hey, Michael. Thanks for joining the stream, man. You missed it. I just about died. But I persevered and survived. I had a group of wolves just about to tell me what was what really early on in the day. Oh, wow. It's getting better and better. Maybe we can... Maybe not. <laughs> hey, I don't think I could do that again if I tried, guys. Yep, we tried. We failed. That's kind of what I'm doing, Chad, is I'm playing a little bit. It's about the only time on my days that I work, at least, that I managed to go and get some, some gaming in. At least enough of the consistency to play and stream it for you guys. 
I mean, technically, with this being the Nintendo Switch that I'm playing on, I could just decide not to stream this for anybody and just take it to the bedroom and just crash playing it. But I figure, you know, if I'm going to fail spectacularly and die in horrific and inventive ways every so often, then somebody should be able to see it other than me. Ah, oh, you got jokes, do you? I see what you're saying, Michael. Yeah, I, uh... Trust me, I'm about to go through this desert land, and it's one of those that, with as low character as I am at the moment, there's a good chance I'm gonna die. The, the desert they've done in this game, they've made sure to keep it very true to the way a real desert environment would be. And that is to say that the, the temperature... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Didn't mean to have that. But yeah, the temperature, it spikes from cold to hot. So during the day, it becomes extremely hot. During the night, it becomes extremely cold. And on my other playthrough, I've got like flame weapons and ice weapons, and I've been playing, you know, for forever. And on this game, I've got um, a piece of cold gear. So in all honesty, I, I may not make it to the actual town here. Oh, what the heck do we have here? Oh, we got some problems, guys. I don't know if you noticed the little ash things falling around, but that's the symbol of a blood moon about to happen. And that usually means that we get regenerating enemies and hit points coming back for some of these guys. All sorts of stuff. Link. Link. Be on your guard. Ganon's power grows. It rises to its peak under the hour of the blood moon. By its glow, the aimless spirits of monsters slain in the name of the light return to flesh. Link, please be careful. Yeah, so the blood moon mechanic that she was just spouting off about uh, pretty much means that the guy I just took out, as you guys can see, when you come back. Now, the fun thing about that is you could, you know, farm his weapon if you needed to. And if you notice those two electric choo-choos, they're back too. Everything that I just beat in the last hour of game time or so is now back to full health. And it can be a real challenge because some of the bosses or mini bosses in this game, you wind up actually taking on at night also. And if you just so happen to be unlucky and it's a blood moon when they come up after you, you could wind up spending quite a bit of time against these guys. And they just totally reset. Oh, I almost blew myself up. Almost though, not quite. Those of you who are here for the, the NASCAR effect, you're going to have to keep waiting. Oh, what kind of idiot throws away his long-range spear? This kind of idiot. See here, let's just grab this next little two hander. Let's get out of these guys' range before they do another electric sneeze. Oh, that was a fairy shot. 
That's never good. Oh. No bomb arrows, just an ice arrow. Wow. We are, we are not doing, oh, and we missed that shot. That's even better, guys. Up, oh, shot. Man, I'm just dousing these fairies left and right out of my, my inventory. Ah. Oh, there's the last fairy, guys. All right. He who fights and runs away lives to fight later on in the stream. Maybe. We'll call this one a tactical retreat, guys. Oh, the 12 demos, man. Yeah, man, I'm proud of that. It's just the way I play this game. When I mean, you're talking about Rocket League, I keep scored differently. Yeah, yeah, Shadow. You, you almost got what you came to see. I, I singed myself. I didn't. I didn't put myself in the hard spin yet, and I got awfully close. Oh, more of these dudes. At least these guys aren't electricity based this time. Pretty much my whole entire stockpile. Yeah, man. That's exactly what this beamer ring is. Man, he's trying to throw this beamer ring. I might as well throw mine, right? Oh! Broke my beamer ring. I guess I'll just pick his up, and those two guys can just stay there in the in the pit. <laughs> Kill that guy fast enough. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Got those guys running away this time. Still trying to figure out where the hell I'm walking and running to, guys. Kinda makes me wish I would have picked up that horse after all. Hi, D Man, how are you doing? Thanks for joining the stream, man. Oh, that is a fire wizard. That is. Definitely going to wind up taking this to a game over screen. Ah, son of a biscuit. I have no desire to fight that thing. Ah. Especially with only one arrow. Zelda monster. Yeah, oh yeah. I, uh... I wish I had ice arrows on me, man. I had one ice arrow and I managed to shoot it at two lightning lasafos and just totally miss. I mean, totally miss. Like, shot past their heads, in between them. Just really bad all in all. 
And yeah, I forgot, man. You you can't uh you cannot um take an actual horse down in here. They wind up having uh, seals instead that you got to actually surf on. I right, put in Kafer. I'm not sure how you got here, man, but I did. I'm playing Zelda Breakfast of the Wild, man. It's the title for my stream that I do every morning, 8 a.m. East Coast time. Yeah, uh, no heat resistant clothing at the moment. I'm hoping to make it to the the uh, the Oasis Town and manage at the Oasis Town to get the the clothing that does give the heat resistance. I got a good truckload of food on me though, so I should be able to to heal scum it all the way back. At least I'm not trying to tackle the, the Goron crater yet. chance of getting up here yeah man death mountain that uh that's the first zone that i think i've actually been in when i've played this game yeah that ain't gonna work um do i have any stamina restoration i do all right But yeah, that was the first zone that I actually been in that uh, that I was like, man, I have to to uh, get the. No, I don't know, man. The the Rito Beast is pretty easy, but to be honest, I did the uh, the Zoro one, and it's actually pretty easy too. I mean, as long as you know the mechanics for the, the bullet time bow thing, the, the Rito is actually pretty straightforward. Or not the Rito, but the Zora is pretty straightforward. Um, I, I think getting the, the shock arrows is the worst part of that. Anyone who can, you know, get any kind of preparation for it should be okay for that. Man, I remember this tire being a whole lot worse than what I'm seeing right now. I'm expecting some kind of bait and switch to happen any second. You know, I've seen some guys actually do the playthrough on the Zora one, and I think where most people are having a hard time is they don't realize that you can use the, the ice uh, power, the Cryonis, on the actual ice rocks that the, the Divine Beast throws at you. And sure, the, the, the Water Blight fight's kind of rough. I mean, if you don't have any kind of arrows to use, I guess.
octopus. Yeah. I know there's a way I can build a land bridge out to it. I also know there's a way I can just glide to one of these and be done with it. I regret that I have only one life to give for my country as I go down with that ship. Uh, okay. Why am I doing this the hard way? I don't know. I was trying to do it the way that they laid the puzzle out, but you know, Nintendo is not the best in the level design sometimes for this game. It, I was like, yeah, I'll try it. Now, Cryonis is actually a very underused power in this game. And the things that you can do with it, and the places that you can use it that you just never think to, um, like the uh, the Zora Lands, so where you've got that whole entire uphill climb, you can actually use Cryonis. Um, or well, however you say it, yeah, Cryonis. You can actually use Cryonis to go up all the waterfalls, and it's. It's one of those things that's a little bit cumbersome, but if you're very underpowered and have like nothing to defend yourself with, you can pretty much go through the whole entire travel with Cryonis and not worry about ever having to fight any of the actual Lizophos or um, any of the, the Wizrobes. I mean, just 
pass it that way, just going up the waterfall. I don't know, man. Cronus is, is a lot more useful opinion than that. And, um, of course, you know, when you're fighting the, the elephant boss, Cryonis will allow you to shatter the actual um, ice warps that are being thrown at you, so you don't have to wind up using arrows and shit on them. easier to kill when you got the right elemental arrows for him. I think right now I've got one arrow to my name. Maybe. This is definitely Nintendo's brainchild, man. Still good on our temperature gauge. So far, so good at least. In a little bit, we're gonna get our little cutscene with the divine beast. Welcome to the stream, man. that they put in this game honestly uh, not as good as I could think and I'm using the pro controller so it's not like I'm using the little joy-con um, so you know it in some of the other games for the switch it's far better so you know it's one of those things that could be much done better Alright, uh, we don't... Yeah. 
that. Or what is up there actually? Hey, puppy. Let's go ahead and pay the puppy tax real quick. Uh, well, I've, I've played Bomberman. Um, I've played Super Clips, Puyo Puyo Tetris. I've played some Mario Kart. And it's, it's far better in in several of the other games like uh, Snipper Clips, it actually has some real good usage, to be honest. I was surprised. I mean, it, it's real subtle stuff, um, but you kind of get like a, almost a tactile response with some of the puzzles. So the the dog here, guys, we're, we're basically able to feed them food, make it to where they're actually, you know, friendly to us. And then once they're friendly, we'll go over and they'll find us a treasure chest. Like right here. And you cannot find these chests without the dogs. They just don't show up. Hey, Burnt, we appreciate you being in the stream, man, but, uh... If, if you're gonna be quoting stuff and not really be part of the conversation, man, there's a lot of other streamers that'd be more than happy to see your traffic. Oh. Yeah, you know, I actually passed on the Wii U. I already had a Wii and a GameCube and a lot of other things and, um, I just didn't see the point of getting the Wii U. I'm, you know, I guess you're, you could say I'm not a Nintendo loyalist. Hey. It's Beetle, guys. We found him. Ah. And he's here to sell some stuff to us, but, you know, we'll, we'll definitely buy our arrows up because, my gosh, wow. we're running way low on arrows. It's your troll, Burnt. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, guess we'll just block your troll, dude. Scimitar. That is definitely something that we can drop something for, guys. Um, yeah, like, sculptin weapon gonna go away. Yeah, I mean, that's the only reason why I even thought about a Wii U at one point was for Smash. I've got it for every other console that I own. Um, and I just, I was, again, for just one game for very similar, uh, setup, I just wasn't seeing it as a, as a worthwhile purchase. Now, a lot of people did, and I don't mean to take away from that from anybody in any stretch of the imagination, guys, because Nintendo makes real good consoles. It's just, the. Uh, to be honest, the release that they had for it and a few other things just wasn't doing it for me. All right, let's go ahead and put on our cold clothes. Okay, well, Dean Man, thanks for joining the stream. Appreciate you hanging out, dude. Have a good day. Parts is off the storm. This guy here needing help. Come on. 
Touch me. Uh -huh. oh, that's cool. I don't mind getting food for my trouble. Enhanced Lysel Spear. I uh, will pass on that. Get us some cactus fruit. I was hoping we get some kind of bug out of the flowers, but no. Hey, there's our trusty shrine locator going up, guys. I bet you it's that shrine right there. And while we're out in the middle of the desert, we'll pick us up a watermelon or two. Hydro melons. Hydro kids, hydro daughters, hydro melons. They picking up everything in here, under you guys. I, I promise you that is probably the only time that you're gonna hear me say a meme tonight. And really bad one at that. it's only about 12 30 at night now nighttime in the desert's good because it's cold and we have gear for cold uh, daytime it's going to get hot and we really need to get some stuff out of the way before we get the hot stuff going so ah. going to do this right here so we can fast travel and we normally would do the shrine quest but we're still kind of pressed for our time because we don't have all the proper attire to really be exploring when it gets hot or crap out so Yeah, he sells things way too expensive. But we might be able to sell ah. some stuff to him. Because we are going to need some money in a little bit. Ah. His two rupees really aren't worth it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, they have not. Mike, um, the fact that this game's got DLC coming is actually uh, pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to a good portion of it. The the hard mode, I'm kind of iffy. On. You know, I I I tend to uh, I tend to die pretty easily in this game mm. as it is. So upgrading the tier of every monster to a new tier and 
putting monsters in places where there weren't monsters before, you know, that those kind of things personally don't really appeal to me. Um, <laughs> but putting, you know, putting extra chests on the map and that kind of stuff. Now that on the other hand, I can get behind. Yep, hard mode's part of the DLC. Uh, the difficulty that I'm playing on is just the straight out of the box difficulty. But yeah, hard mode is going to introduce regenerating hit points for mobs. Uh, it's going to take all of the mobs and increase their level by one. So where I've been fighting like red bokoblins and green lizalfos, um, they're going to actually all be upgraded to the next tier, which would be uh, blue bokoblins and uh, black lizalfos, I think is what it would be. Uh, we aren't going to be throwing that. That is not our boomerang. That's our boomerang. The, the hard mode DLC is also going to introduce um, more treasure chests and spots. And one of the things that the actual screenshots for it show in the air, there will be balloon mounted platforms that monsters will be archers specifically as the, the enemy type that they mentioned will be on there. Uh, one of the things that I enjoy very heavily in this game is the ability to jump off the things and float with my little glider like that um, to kind of get some better distance travel and they're not going to allow for that in the hard mode as much Sava oh. Sava Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the cheesy pickup line. You know, I'm I'm kind of with you on that, man. The 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 paywall difficulty thing kind of kind of irked me a little bit when I was reading about it. Um, personally, I think that the, the way that they're handling it, it's a bit more than just the difficulty, right? The, the difficulty is part of it, but they're using that difficulty to also introduce more content at the same time. So the, the difference in loot, um, a few other things being dropped at the same time. So on the one hand, yeah, it is the difficulty. But it is also changing mm. part of the game beyond just it being harder. Um, so that's you know that's one thing that I think would be kind of. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I was reading that the dialogue there. Um, mm. So it is, you know, a bit more, um, and it's not just the hard mode being on the DLC. The DLC is actually introducing several other modes into the game. Um, trial of something or other, the trial of the sword, I think, is what it is, uh, which will change the way that the master sword works when you complete it. Um, there's also um, a couple more items that are being added to the game. That are going to be difficult to get a hold of. Mm. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to that person. Uh. Never mind there. I'm just trying to find the, the vendor. Huh? Vasak. Mm. Hmm? Huh? So there is a Vi, which is the Gerudo term for female, 
who relaxes on the roof during the noon. So we'll take the regular bed. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, the DLC thing is conditioning. That's what that is, Michael. I mean, we, we used to buy a game, right? And the game was start to finish, all the stuff, all the items. It wasn't a beta of the game. It wasn't an unfinished product of the game. So at, at some point, we started getting... Um, and I hate to point fingers... But it's EverQuest, right? That that was the that was the grandfather of all games with expansions. Was the first big MMO, and so as we started becoming more and more accustomed to buying games that were perpetual, like EverQuest and World of Warcraft and uh, Rifts and all that, Hi. it wound up being a blurred mm. line as, as some games became single-player MMOs with content that you can buy. Um, ah. mm. Hey, I'll take the whole outfit ah. for 600 rupees. Hmm. As promised in the description, guys, we got some crap. This is the Vi outfit for oh. Link. It has two functions. Oh. Number one, because Link is so androgynous in this game, he passes for oh. a female. Oh. <laughs> Number two, because it is the traditional female garb in a fantasy game, you wind up having nothing covered on your body. Bare shoulders, bare midriff, mm. bare calves. So it actually gives you a bonus to heat resistance. Um, so now we can actually get into the here Forbidden City and kind of start progressing the plot line. But since we're, you know, working on a Working on a clock here, guys. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go and complete this shrine quest. And this is probably where we're going to quit for the day. But yeah, man, as far as DLC goes, I have the DLC for this game. Uh, I bought the DLC pass. It was part of the actual package I got with the Nintendo Switch. And for me to get the Nintendo Switch in a reasonable time, um, it was kind of one of those sure why not things. Um, so far with what they've announced for the Zelda game, I'm actually not upset with the content there. Um, I was kind of upset with Bomberman when I bought Bomberman with it. Oh, one of these guys again. <laughs> Drop my next bow. That's okay. the scimitar instead. There's this a real sword. Alright. Now 
one thing I, I do think is ridiculous with the DLC thing was Mass Effect 3. The, the whole debacle on that thing with the uh, endings not being different enough. Yeah, I've not played the Mass Effect series. I just saw the endings, read about the articles. And quite frankly, I, I really think in that particular instance that most of my, uh, my gamer brethren got completely screwed on that. And I, I think it was just ridiculous that the company behind that game had such a great series and just wind up destroying it by... I mean, I, I don't think they even really gave a, a reason why they decided to screw the player base over. It was just kind of like one of those we don't want to pay our guys enough to complete the game kind of situations. We'll do it in post-production. I mean, take your pick. Honestly, just there's no call for it in my mind. Um, I'll eat these just for filling up my health reasons. See what this actual shrine has in store for us. A whole picture. we can use. Ah, okay. There is something like in that room. Let's go ahead and use, do this for site first then. I definitely enjoy our conversations because it, they usually bear fruit. Mm. Yeah, they, they may not always be the tastiest of fruits, but we do get some good stuff out of it. Alright, let's see here. That's one, two, three circuit pieces. We've only got two pieces of metal. That's one, two, okay. Well, we got way ahead of ourselves, apparently.
so now we got us another little piece of the pie. Check this out. Set that there. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, I, I try to make sure that my angle, like my thoughts on things are are a bit more than, boy, it's dark and smelly where I'm thinking. Because it's just one of those things, you know, that everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And I, I try to keep that in mind, um, that everybody has one. And, and therefore, at least their personal truth, it is the truth. I mean, so you you may be categorically wrong in my personal opinion, um, but that's again my personal opinion. try to keep in mind that not everybody is going to see things or have all the information so so when you're talking to somebody I, I always try to keep that in mind that what somebody may have heard on a particular topic may simply be only what they've heard and not everything that I've heard Big ass box. in let's see here we've got all the treasure out of this one excellent so now we can come in here and get our spirit orb It's up to seven, so way cool. Yeah, that's that's definitely a, a good point there, Michael. Is you know, there's a difference between opinion and fact and, and truth, and, and those three things. Um, I hate to say it, especially with, you know, the political climate that we've been dealing with over here in the United States, but all three of those things are very subjective. And, you know, it's like the picture that's got the portals going on, that this is true and this is also true, and you see two portals in different shapes. Right, well, guys, we made it to the Forbidden City. Uh, this is the city where only women are allowed to go in. Sava, sava. Mighty bananas. Mm. All right, so. Hey, 
Hey, Foxy! Thanks for joining the stream! Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. And guys, with that task being given to us to scope out and find the Thunder Helm of the Gerudo tribe, we're going to close today's stream to an end. Uh, unfortunately, I've got work tonight, which means i got to be in bed now, and it all kind of all blends together. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys, for the stream. Appreciate it. Uh, Foxy, Michael, uh, Shadow, Dean Man, all you guys that come up today. Um, we even wound up getting some troll action, so, you know, it's all good. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, catch you all tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel, eight o'clock Eastern time, U.S. And we will start figuring out on the case as to why the guys in the soldier barrack or gals in the soldier barrack have had an issue with this thunder helm. <laughs>